Nikon is making significant waves in the camera world with rumors of the Nikon Z9H, a high-speed version of its flagship Z9 model. As anticipation builds for its potential release between Q4 2024 and Q1 2025, the Z9H is expected to rival competitors like Canon's R1 and R3 and Sony's groundbreaking A93. This upcoming model is poised to be a game-changer in action and sports photography, offering new technologies that could elevate Nikon to the forefront of professional camera innovation. In a landscape dominated by Sony's stacked sensor technology and Canon's robust high-speed offerings, Nikon aims to capture attention with the Z9H's global shutter sensor. The global shutter could be a game-changer, addressing a long-standing issue in digital photography, rolling shutter distortion. Traditional electronic shutters scan progressively from top to bottom, which often leads to distorted images when capturing fast-moving subjects, such as athletes or wildlife. However, the global shutter reads the entire sensor simultaneously, eliminating these distortions and allowing for true-to-life images in high-speed settings. Sony's A93, which has set a high bar with its global shutter capabilities, has demonstrated how this technology allows for capturing fast action without the jello effect that plagues rolling shutters. This is one of the primary reasons why Sony has been the go-to brand for many action and sports photographers. With the Z9H, Nikon appears ready to challenge this dominance head-on, bringing global shutter technology into its own professional camera line rumors suggest that Nikon is working on a 20-megapixel sensor for the Z9H, which could have a readout speed of 0.4 milliseconds, making it incredibly fast at processing images. This kind of speed is crucial when dealing with high-speed subjects where every fraction of a second counts. While 20 megapixels may seem lower than the Z9's 45-megapixel sensor, the trade-off comes in the form of faster readout speeds and less image distortion during rapid bursts. Additionally, there's speculation that Nikon could offer a high-resolution composite mode in the Z9H. This feature, already seen in Sony's high-resolution modes, allows the camera to stitch together multiple shots to create an ultra-high-resolution image. This mode would potentially produce files as large as 240 megapixels, offering extreme detail for scenarios where maximum resolution is needed, such as landscape or studio photography. This could make the Z9H an incredibly versatile tool, excelling not only in high-speed sports and wildlife photography, but also in fields where detail and resolution are paramount. One of the standout features of the global shutter is its ability to allow flash synchronization at any shutter speed. Traditionally, flash synchronization is limited to relatively slow shutter speeds, typically around 1 250th of a second, because the shutter must be fully open for the flash to illuminate the entire frame. However, with a global shutter, which captures the entire frame in a single instant, flash sync can occur at any speed. This opens up exciting possibilities for photographers who want to use flash in combination with fast shutter speeds, whether in studio settings or in the field, capturing fast-moving subjects. Sony's A9 III has already demonstrated the benefits of this feature, showing that it's possible to sync flash with extremely fast electronic shutters. If the Nikon Z9H can match or surpass this capability, it will offer photographers unprecedented control over lighting in high-speed scenarios. Imagine capturing a racing car or a flying bird, frozen in time with both sharp focus and perfect lighting, something previously difficult to achieve with electronic shutters alone. While Nikon has already introduced the Xpeed 8 processor in some of its recent models, rumors suggest that the Z9H will use dual Xpeed 7 processors instead. This decision may seem surprising, but there are likely good reasons for sticking with the proven power of the Xpeed 7. By utilizing two of these processors, Nikon could significantly enhance the camera's ability to handle high frame rate shooting, autofocus tracking, and burst capture. In terms of shooting speed, reports indicate that the Z9H could reach an astonishing 120 frames per second, FPS, 
with full autofocus and auto exposure capabilities. To put this in perspective, the current Nikon Z9 maxes out at 30 FPS in continuous shooting mode. This massive leap would redefine the camera's performance in action-heavy environments, where capturing the perfect moment often depends on shooting hundreds of frames within a matter of seconds. To accommodate the rapid sensor readout speeds required by the global shutter, Nikon may reduce the resolution of the Z9H's sensor to 24 megapixels. This would be a departure from the Z9's 45 megapixel sensor, but for many photographers, the trade-off will be well worth it. Lower resolution sensors often allow for faster image processing and readout speeds, which is critical when shooting fast-moving subjects. At the same time, the high-resolution composite mode would mitigate this reduction by offering an option to create extremely detailed images when needed. This would ensure that the Z9H remains versatile across a wide range of photography styles, from action to studio work. Photographers who value both speed and resolution would likely appreciate this balance, as it caters to their need for performance without sacrificing image quality when detail is paramount. For Nikon, the Z9H represents a significant opportunity to push the boundaries of professional sports and action photography. With its potential for global shutter technology, high burst rates, and enhanced flash sync capabilities, the Z9H is poised to become a critical tool for professionals who need to capture fast-paced scenes with accuracy and clarity. The ability to shoot at 120 frames per second with full autofocus means that even the most fleeting moments can be captured with perfect timing, whether it's a soccer goal, a sprinter crossing the finish line, or a bird in mid-flight. As details about the Nikon Z9H remain speculative, it's clear that the camera world is eagerly awaiting its arrival. The combination of a global shutter, high-speed burst rates, and advanced image processing could make the Z9H one of Nikon's most advanced cameras yet. For photographers working in fast-paced professional fields, such as sports, wildlife, and action photography, the Z9H promises to be a revolutionary tool capable of capturing extraordinary feats with precision and clarity. The anticipation for the Z9H is building rapidly as Nikon prepares to unveil what could be one of its most significant releases to date. With the camera expected to launch between the fourth quarter of 2024 and the first quarter of 2025, the photography community is closely watching every development. Whether Nikon can meet or exceed the expectations set by Sony's latest innovations remains to be seen, but one thing is certain, the Nikon Z9H has the potential to set new standards for speed, accuracy, and image quality in the world of professional photography. As we await official announcements and further details, the race is on, and Nikon appears ready to make its next bold move.